We begin by acknowledging the land and our responsibility to care for and respect all that creation gives to provide us with life. This land upon which we live, work, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty lands of the Michisaugic and Ashtabek, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize that this land is rich in pre-contact history and relationships, which includes the Anishinaabek and Ongohongwe, and since European contact has and continues to become home for Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. As a responsible community, we believe all people are sacred and possess inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed Indigenous peoples of their ancestral lands and continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities, and freedoms. We are committed to the sacrament of reconciliation, making reparations and fulfilling our treaty obligations, duties, and responsibilities as outlined in the Godot Naganana Dish with One Spoon Wampum. This treaty governs and affirms that we actively maintain mutually beneficial relationships and collectively respect and care for the land, water, animals, and each other in order to guarantee a good life for our future descendants. Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing I am doing your will. This is Loyola, home of the Warriors. I'm Maureen Lazen, Principal of Loyola, and welcome to our virtual open house. While Loyola, of course, is known for its coveted athletic field, more importantly, Loyola is a community that fosters inclusion, celebrates diversity, and of course, promotes and supports student well-being and success. We know that the transition from grade eight to grade nine can often be a scary one, not just for the students, but for parents as well. We have many things in place at Loyola that support and help those transitions, but when you are here, know that here in the main office where you will meet our vice principals, our friendly secretarial staff, you never need an appointment. Whatever you need, we will be available to support you because your success and your wellness is always our first priority. So as you come out of the office, you walk into this beautiful matrix, which is both a point of entry for our school, but also a gathering place for friends. There are many visual reminders in this matrix of who we are and what we are about. There is a constant reminder of our common purpose and sense of community. So this evening, as you enjoy our virtual open house, we hope you catch the warrior spirit and join us here next September. Well, my name is Sharon Hoban. I'm your Catholic school trustee for wards two and eight in Mississauga. I'm really, really sorry that you can't come into the school for your tour, but I do hope that this virtual tour will give you an idea of all the great things that this school has to offer. And when you come to school in September, I encourage you to get involved in all of the activities that will help enrich your education and guide you to becoming a Catholic school graduate. I wish you the best, stay safe, and God bless. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Sergel, and I'm the chaplaincy leader here at Loyola. The role of the chaplain is to be with you throughout your four years as you grow on your journey of faith. I'm here to walk with you, to guide you, to listen to you, and ultimately to help you know that God loves you and that God is always with you. Here in the chaplaincy ministry room, there's space for students to come, to gather in friendship, to get away from the craziness that exists, or to talk to me. An important part of my role here at Loyola is to lead the retreat program of which every student will participate in each year throughout their four years here. And so yes, sometimes I'm here sitting at my desk working on retreats or service and outreach projects. But of course my favorite place in this whole school and the best part of my job is that I get to be the caretaker of our chapel. We are so blessed here at Loyola to have this amazing, beautiful chapel for us to gather in prayer, 
in quiet and meditation, to be with our Lord each and every day. It's an opportunity to be reminded that we are centered and rooted in Christ. And if you can see the stained glass windows behind me, on each side of our Lord is our patron, St. Ignatius of Loyola. On one side, St. Ignatius Loyola, the warrior, and on the other side, St. Ignatius Loyola, the Jesuit priest. A reminder for us to be like him, to be warriors of faith, to be people rooted in prayer and service, and to always know that Jesus loves us and that if we can bring ourselves to those gospel teachings of truth and love and peace and faith and hope, that we will find our calling in this world, that we will be able to use our talents. And the presence of our blessed sacrament here in the chapel makes this space even more sacred and more special. So welcome to Loyola, future warriors. I can't wait to meet you. Be blessed. We are some of the teachers representing the religion department here at Loyola. Working in collaboration with Mr. Joel, our chaplain, we strive to put our faith into action within our courses, classroom, and the school community to show that we are the hands and feet of Christ. Whether it is through our engaging lessons in each course or attending grade level retreats, teachers and students are able to build community, grow in faith, and extend the hope, love, and compassion of Christ to others. We look forward to teaching you while at Loyola. Glory to God, our people fully alive. See you next year, warriors. Grade eights. My name is Mrs. Paveo. I am the drama teacher at Loyola, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the courses that we offer. In our program, we have the Grade Nine ALC course, which is half drama, half music. So you get to try the best of both worlds and do all kinds of performances and areas of study in that course. In grade 10, you get to extend your skills in a full-time course and we explore theater history, live theater, and a variety of performance types. We also offer senior drama, grade 11 and 12, and 12, where you get to have a more advanced theater and performance experience. Um, here's a look at one of my current drama classes and the stuff that they get up to in class. Enjoy. You can do fun things like fight choreography. Drama games! Here, madam, will I do declare? And scene work. Three, two, one.
I'm Ms. Lafasso, one of the business teachers here at Loyola, and I'm here to talk to you about our business program. Our business program does provide ample opportunities for students, not only in our course offerings, but also to achieve a business certificate. More information about the business certificate can be found on our business brochure, as well as on our school website. We also provide students with an opportunity to be involved in a business club called DECA. So again, giving them more of an experiential learning to uh, the business career. So uh, I wanted to focus mainly on the grade nine course, which is BTT 101. So it's not a course um, that is just business related, but it is a course that's going to be useful for your students or your children's um, educational career all through high school. It is going to be focused on the use uh, of the software that they will be using in their geography, history, science, and math classes. So things like Word, uh, they'll be able to create wonderful flyers, brochures, and even advertisements in their courses. Uh, they're able to create a much better looking science lab as well as the use of Excel being able to show the graphical illustrations in their math classes or in their assignments for math. On top of that, I always find that students that have taken the BTT course are much better at presenting. So using the PowerPoint as a means to their presentation, they're much better speakers and we do pride on teaching them the tools that will lead them to success in the years to come. So we are really looking forward to seeing your students uh, and your children, obviously, uh, in our courses next year. Hi, Grade 8 parents and students. My name is Madame Terrier. I am the Department Head of Business and Moderns here at Loyola. Uh, I will talk to you a little bit about both programs. Uh, we will start with the Moderns Department. Uh, in the Moderns Department, we have three programs. We have the Immersion Program, the Extended French Program, and the Core French Program. So when you come next year to Loyola in Grade 9, you will take one of the French course uh, that are offered. So if you're if you are not in the extended French program or the immersion program, you will take grade nine French, whether it's academic or applied level. Um, after that, if you want, you can continue with French in grade 10, 11, and 12. And at the end of your grade 12, when you graduate, you will receive a certificate that says that you have completed the core French program with the four courses, uh, one per year. If you are currently in extended French, you will continue in extended French in high school in grade 9 and you will take two courses in grade 9 taught in French, the French class and geography in French. And then you will continue in grade 10 where you will take uh, history in French and the French class and then you will continue in grade 11 where you take world religion in French and the French course. And then in grade 12, you'll take one course in French and it's just the French grade 12 course. So in total, in extended French, you will be taught seven courses in French. At the end, when you graduate in grade 12, you will get a certificate that says that you have completed the seven courses of the extended French program uh, in high school. If you are in the immersion program, when you come in grade nine next year, you will take three courses taught in French. You will have the geography, the French course, and religion taught in French. And then in grade 10, you will have four courses, uh, the French class, the history, civics, career, and religion. And then in grade 11, you'll take two courses in French, religion and French. And in grade 12, only one course in French, the grade 12. The reason why as you go up, as you go to the senior classes, you have less courses taught in French, it's so you can focus on the courses that you need as prerequisite for the program that you want to do uh, in post-secondary, whether it's like uh, college or university. So it allows you to focus on these courses that you need. Um, we also have a lot of activities in our department for French. We have the French Cafe, we have trips to Europe, we have trips to Quebec City. So you can practice your French skills in a natural and authentic setting. Our department is uh, big. We have about seven teachers that teach uh, French full time. Um, very dynamic, very, uh, I'd say, technology, very good. Um, and always trying to make the course as interesting as uh, possible and to make the student participate a lot. 
um, for the business program, we offer courses uh, every year. So in grade nine next year, you could take the BTT class. So some students might not be big in the arts. Uh, some are, but some are not. Uh, so instead of taking drama, music, or um, or art, some students choose uh, to take business. And in the business class, the BTT, you will learn all kinds of different uh, programs that will help you throughout your high school career, whether it's how to make an, eff an effective PowerPoint presentation, Excel, all kinds of programs that you may know right now, but that you may not be able to use them to the fullest of what they can offer. So to be really, really good at this program, and again, it will help you throughout your high school. Um, then in grade 10, you, there's introduction to business, where you learn a little bit of the senior courses, um, and it's it's a great introduction to all these business courses coming up and then in grade 11 and 12 of course you'll have the marketing economics accounting uh, lots of different courses offered for you in the business department we also have a club in business called DECA where students uh, prepare presentation in different fields of business and go present it in a competition it's a lot of fun and it's a great experience Again, uh, being bilingual in Canada is definitely an asset when you apply for a job, any kind of job. Um, normally you will earn a little bit more money, up to 10-15% more in salary if you're bilingual. So it's definitely a great skill to be bilingual and I encourage you to continue with many languages. Uh, of course French, but also if you have heritage language at home, you should definitely continue. The more languages you speak, the better it's going to be for you when you apply for a job. So I look forward to see you in the fall. Uh, I'll teach you at some point. Uh, you guys a fantastic, fantastic school. You will love it here. And uh, I'll see you in the fall. Bye. To the Computer Studies Department here at Loyola Catholic Secondary School. Taking Computer Studies courses allows you to learn a little bit about hardware. And Alyssa is going to demonstrate where she's going to take apart a computer, put it back together, and she's got a newer computer here where she can, she's put in the RAM, fan, the CPU, and of course our graphics card. Students also participate in Recycle Electronics where students take apart old computers, label the inside of a computer, boot it. If the computer doesn't work, they're recycling the parts inside of the computer. We're also going to move over to Niall, where in computer studies, he's learned how to create a web page. So he's using HTML, hypertext markup language, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, so on and so forth. Um, taking a computer studies course, we'll learn how to create a game. So the software that we're using is called Game Maker, and in Game Maker, students learn how to create lives, score, health, hit points. A piece of the hardware that students learn is using a 3D printer, and Lachlan's going to demonstrate how he, is using MakerBot, created the object, which is a shark, with infill and rafting. And he was using the MakerBot replicator software, as well as software to design a 3D object. In computer studies, you'll also learn how to program in Java. And Lachlan is going to demonstrate a snakes and ladders program, where students learn how to code using if statements, variables, again, and the Snakes and Ladders program also accommodates for different types of data input. And also at, in computer studies, you'll learn how to program it in Python. And Lachlan programmed a, a program where it's guest number program and he was using a while loop. We hope you enjoyed the Loyola Catholic Secondary School Computer Studies Department. Please check our website for more information. Also, we hope that you choose Loyola as your secondary school experience as there's so much that we can offer you. Hello and welcome to our Grade 8 Open House. My name is Ms. Pinchak and I am one of the Cooperative Education Teachers here at Loyola. I just would like to tell you a little bit about our program and what it offers. So Co-op is a program that provides students in high school with a range of learning opportunities that are connected to communities outside the school. Students are involved in hands-on learning opportunities where they work in work placements and earn credits for their high school diploma. Before they head out to work, they are engaged in pre-placement activities here at school where they learn about health and safety, workplace rights, employment standards, and so on. 
And during the placement, they have days where they come back to school called integration days, where they can reflect on their placements to date. So Co-op is a great program because it provides students with workplace skills related to the general world of work and also very career and industry specific skills. It also helps students to network in a particular field of work. So there's lots to be learned from Co-op. Students are able to take two, three, or four credit co-op, which means they earn either two, three, or four credits towards their diploma. We have the ability to offer students placements in a variety of fields of work. We have had students in the past work in pharmacy, veterinary, in a mechanic shop with a plumber or an electrician. We've had students work in gyms and in sales. We've had students work in childcare and graphic design. The opportunities really are endless and they are very much driven by what the student decides they would like to do. Another benefit of co-op is something called OYAP and dual credits. These two programs enable students to earn credits towards youth college while they are in their placement experience and, while they're, and they're also able to earn apprenticeship hours if they are interested in doing a trade. So lots and lots of opportunities involved here by taking co-op. Co-op is available in grades 11 and 12 and it requires a little bit of planning if it's something that you want to take. So it's important to think about it now and if you have any questions I'm happy to answer them. Again, my name is Miss Pinchak and I'm one of the cooperative education teachers here at Loyola. Thanks so much, hope to see you soon. I am Sarah Ferreira, Department Head of English, ELL and Library. As you may be aware, English is a compulsory credit that must be taken every year in high school. In our courses, students will read a variety of different texts and apply them to the world that they live in. Students write and present a variety of different pieces, not just traditional paragraphs and essays, but also creative and multimedia pieces. In our virtual classes and online learning systems, students interact with each other in ways that further develop their 21st century competencies while learning to be responsible digital citizens. Here are some of our grade nine English students taking English this term, who would like to share their experiences with you. Hi, I'm Joanna. Hi, I'm Angelica. In this year, grade nine, we've read multiple short stories, poems, plays, and novels, such as Julius Caesar. And the Marrow Thieves. Both really great reads. But you must be thinking, whoa, that's way too much. But trust me, it's actually super great. Look forward to English next year.
Oh, good morning. Are you interested in going to college, university in the health sciences? Or maybe a career in healthcare? Come on in. To my health sciences healthcare class. Learn why and how to do skills like blood pressure. Learn about the nervous system and how to assess it. For instance, the reflexes. You'll also learn how to safety, safely use some of our equipment. Natalia is really moving up in the world. Learn how to interpret diagnostic tests like x-rays, ECGs, blood, even urine. Learn how to safely measure uh, and prescribe mobility aids. We also cover things like medical terminology, clinical reasoning, further diagnostic testing, lots of skills, and much, much more. Healthcare courses at Loyola are offered in grades 10, 11, and 12. They offer plenty of, plenty of opportunities for skill development, as well as other enriching activities like trips to the Ontario Science Centre, the University of Guelph Anatomy and Cadaver Lab, and the University of Waterloo Virus Lab as well. Welcome to hospitality. Come on in. In hospitality, you can take the class in grade 10, 11, and 12. And today, you're lucky to join us on soup day. Coming in here, we see our young apprentice cooks in action, practicing everything. Knife skills, working with meat, working with stocks and soups and sauces. Everything's wonderful in hospitality. Hospitality, we practice knife skills, such as dicing an onion. We also learn how to do oblique cuts. Over here, we have Chef Nicholas working on meat cookery. Great job, Chef. And this is our baking station. Here in hospitality, we produce several things a day. Today, we have potato leek soup and chicken noodle soup. Yeah. And we are emphasizing the importance of mise en place. Ladies and gentlemen, should everybody that comes to Loyola take hospitality? Yes, sir! Hey Warriors, I'm Jolie and I'm here to talk to you about the best course you'll ever choose, Cosmo. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Cosmo Room! This course is taught by the best teacher at Loyola, Miss Kaliva, and has some of the best activities. 
On your right, when you walk in, there's a Zozo sign and all the health and safety things that we need to know so we can practice in class. In this course, you get to experiment and play around with hair products and hair styling tools on mannequin heads or your friend's hair. So here are the stations where we do hair. Right now we're doing hair cutting, hair bleaching, and hair dyeing. These are uh, hair washing sta stations for when we bleach or dye hair. She's currently washing out the mannequin because she just bleached hair. You also get the chance to learn how to apply makeup, eyelash extensions, and improve your skincare game. I'm not only talking about regular skincare, I'm talking about facials. So on the left is Ms. Kaliva's office, and then over here are the stations we use to do facials and stuff. And there's like face steamers and all that. Last but not least, you get to develop skills for applying nail polish, shellac, and many more nail-related things. Check out these nails. I did them myself. Over here is some of the nail polish and stuff that we use when we get to do nails. Over here are the mannequin heads that we use for each grade. Over here is all the other covers. This one's for hair. This one's for nails. And then this one is usually what we're using right now for bleach and hair dye. Hi, my name is Luna. I'm a senior. This is my third year in Cosmo, and I took Cosmo because I wanted to learn new skills and get better at them. My name is Lassia, and I'm a senior at Loyola. I took Cosmo because I wanted to learn new skills and have a lot of fun with new people. I'm Julia. I'm in grade 11, and this is my first year taking Cosmo, and it was the best choice I made. What are you doing currently with your mannequin, Julia? I'm teaching my mannequin school. For your CPT? Yep. Awesome. Making friends and becoming a beauty and cosmetics expert sounds great to me.